So this is the image that I made with Gemini AI. Now I'm going to make this into a video with VO3. The age of AI has just begun. So Google VO3 just got a big update. You can now make your images talk with VO3. So just like you see, I just upload a picture of my character and I give them voice and I just got audio from my image and turn that image into a video. So these are the two videos that I created with Flow in Google Flow with the friends to video option. I'm going to show you how to do this to create your video. So this is the two generation. The age of AI has just begun. So let me just show you from the sketch how to do this. Here you open your Google Flow account. Of course, you need a pro account to do this. Without that, you cannot create your video. And if you're outside of US, make sure to use a VPN just like me. I'm using here Setup VPN. So after that, just create a new project. And if you want to create your image to video, you need to choose the frames to video option. Click on frames to video and go to the model option settings and choose VO3 fast. VO3 fast, which, which is the beta audio now supported in image to video. You can also use VO3 quality option, but if you choose that, you can see it will cost you 100 credits. So we don't want that because VO3 fast to video is already good as you can see. VO3 fast to video, I have shown you the previous video which is made with VO3 fast and I it only used 20 credits per video. So I'm just going to use the output as 2 to show you. And now I'm just going to upload another picture. So I'm just going to upload this picture which is also I created in Gemini AI and two cars chasing. So I'm just going to upload that. So this is the scene going to be a two car chasing an intense scenes in a cyberpunk city. So to upload your image, you just need to click on this plus, plus icon and click on upload. And I'm just going to select the image from here. And you can now crop your scene. It's already perfected with the crop and save. So I'm just going to click on crop and save. And friends to video is actually where you can add another frame where it's going to be the scene has ended but for this i'm just going to use the image to video if you want to learn how to use the whole about the flow ai you can watch this video where i covered all the topics of flow how to use the frames to video and text to video and if you want to learn how to create prompt you can watch this video how to use vo3 and create prompt so our images have been uploaded so i'm just going to give an intense prompt that i made with chat so this is the prompt that I created with ChatGPT to create me an intense car chase scenes with, with more visual high speed motion blur and 4K style. So I'm just going to paste it and just click submit and it's going to start to create the video from my image. So now our video has been created. Let's see the result here and let's just play it. So the first results is pretty good but it added some music maybe if i provided in the prompts that no background music only raw music of the car and the seat maybe this will do that but you can do that i'm just showing you how to create video with image to video so let's see the next result so this one because at the end it really giving an intense car chasing scene and you can see in the end this car is personic noise style which i like but it'll also give the same background music uh, so if you just maybe you tell it in the prompt that no background music only raw music or the raw audio that you want for your footage so that's it guys this is the video that i want to share with you which is a huge update for vo3 now you can make your images with audio with vo3 so just go to come to the flow and choose friends to video and make sure to select outputs per prompt two or one it will save you credit so that's it guys if you found this video helpful please subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching